Yensen Organist here. And Stitch Fun. And welcome to another episode of Stitch and Yensen. Yensen and Stitch? Stitch and Yensen Learn Redstone. Woo! Yay! Today, we are going to do Noobs in Space! <laughs> Bye. Bye. Anyway. We are going to experiment with flying machines today. So, we're going to need pistons, sticky pistons, observers, and slime blocks, and possibly honey blocks, but probably not necessarily. Also, obsidian, and maybe a button. Okay. So, I was watching a video that Mumbo put out last night, and one of the things he was talking about was um, flying machines, and that is something that I am kind of scared of. <laughs> I know, like, the... Th well, I don't really know the theory. Um, I've built a couple from tutorials, but I want to figure out how they actually work. So, let's come up here a few blocks. I don't need this down here. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. So, we need... I'm trying to... And I'm going to try to do this for, from memory. But I know that we need a... Let's do this. Whoop. Let's do... Okay. So, we're going to do a vertical one first. So, we do a piston facing up with a... Let's see. It sense okay, yeah. So we like that, I think. And then I do believe we do another piston facing down, like that, with an observer, uh, like that, maybe. And then a slime block. I don't think this is right. And a line block and then if we power an observer mm -hmm. no I don't think this is right <laughs> maybe maybe we put the let's see here put an observer like this no like this on top of the piston. Okay, because we need the output from this side of the observer. That's what we need. So, this would then go up. Um, but it's going to detect on this side, so that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> wait, 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 no, but no, what did you do? I don't know, I put that in place and then I put a block in front of it. Okay. Okay, so I think you're on the right track. I think you have figured something out. So... Okay. So that's good. <clears throat> so that powers this one. Right. So then... So if we push a... This thing up like that and now which way is the observer facing no wait this would have to be I think this has to be on the other side and the observer is facing into the thing like that okay what happens now 
I've seen these built so many times, trying to recreate it from memory. <laughs> Any time. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> this, this is what did I say noobs in space N or not okay so what if what if what if we have that there but we have the observer there aha Nope, that's wrong. Uh, and I can't place it now. Okay, okay, okay thank you! <laughs> Stop! Alright, so what did we do? I placed the observer there, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And then, did we do a... S I think we did that there, right? I think so. And then I think that goes there. And then if we put a couple here... I know the thing that I saw had that. Was this... No, this was, I think, directly on top. Like that? Maybe? Maybe? Okay. Maybe not. Maybe there was a space. Uh... No. Eh. Broke the wrong thing. Okay, that. Oh, no, wait. No, I don't need the clock, thank you very much. Okay. And then that goes there, and then these go there. Okay. Okay, what did we do before that made this work? Because we had it. Didn't we put a slime block there? Did we? I don't think so. I think we because did. Because this... Okay. So this will... So the observer puts out a, a one-tick pulse, which is what causes the piston to spit out its block. So when this is powered... This will power this, causing it to push all of... Oh. That's going to push the piston up. We take that out. Maybe that? Yeah, because what happened was we pushed that up. Then, when this comes up, it should give the pulse to... Do this, which will pull this up. Hmm. Alright, let's give this a try. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So now... So this is getting powered twice? And this isn't staying up there. But then this is not getting pulled up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it looks like they're like claws and they're picking <laughs> the things up. Yeah. Okay. So I think maybe all we need to do is switch where the slime blocks are. Because that was the clock that we were looking for. Okay, clearly not. <laughs> um... Okay, is this the clock right here? No.
Okay, so we had sticky blocks. Was it here? Yes. And here? Yes. So what if we... Hmm. Okay, let's, let's look at this invention. Okay, I think I know the answer. I think we need one there. <clears throat> and one there. I could be wrong. But then, theoretically, this will pull everything up? No. Okay, that was the problem we had before. <clears throat> if you put an, an observer on top of this piston right here... So yeah. Would it detect when it, like, went off or whatever? It might... But I don't know if it would. It. I don't know if it would power because I think the power only comes out of the back of the observer. Okay, so what if we were to build the entire thing one block higher? <laughs> okay, clearly not. So the problem is, is that this doesn't push this up. So when that goes, <clears throat> we need this whole thing to be pulled up. If I put a slime block here, this will push this entire thing up. It will push the entire thing up. Okay. New problem. <laughs> Let's see if we can do a horizontal flying machine. I think these might be easier. Observers are placed the wrong way. That might be part of the problem. Now I've done the same thing I did with the vertical. <laughs> Redstone makes no sense! We're so close. I think I almost have it. Okay, what you got? So... So... I think it was like that. Okay. So, you have the observer that's right here. Uh-huh. Like that? No, does it need descent from the bottom? There you go. Oops, another clock. 
Okay. So that sh- that powers this piston, which right. pushes this observer up, uh-huh. which powers this piston. Um, wait, how did it, I don't know. But it goes like, oh, that wasn't how it was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How was this? <laughs> okay, you keep working. What I did. Ah, okay. Right. Mm, so you go like, no, not like that. Like that. Uh huh. So you get that. All you, I think, you only need one more. You need to power this piston one more time. So it yeah. pushes that down, and then maybe it'll work. But I don't know how you would do that. See, this is the problem that I have. So come over here. I think, did I, is this the correct setup? No, this is not. Um, Let's see here. I think that goes there. No, because that's got to go. Eh, I gotta rebuild this. So I think it's like this and then that goes there and then this goes here and then if we do slime block and slime block i think i built this right nope because that powers that, which powers that, which should then power that, but I don't think this is the way. Yeah, okay. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Alright, so this is, this, I, I know that this is, like, the key to it, but what I can't figure out is I need this, like, when it pushes... When it pushes, that push somehow needs to drag the entire contraption forward. Hmm. But if I put a slime block here, then it drags this... What if you put the piston where this slime bo- block right here? I've tried that. Mm-hmm. Now this will pull this here. Okay. So, all right. So here's the thing. Okay. So this will work. So what this will do is this will push this. The problem is I don't have any way to pull this. That's the problem. So many, many hours and a week later, and um, we, we finally have something. And Stitch was actually on to something. Um, the, uh, the slime blocks don't stick to the front or back of the observers, but they do stick to the sides. So if we were to do like this... And then, let's see, if we were to power this, it moves. So, after playing around with things a lot, I came up with this. And if I did this correctly, what should happen is we start here. This will pull this forward. Oh, you know what? I'm missing an observer. Goes there? No. Goes there. Okay. That will then activate this observer, which will push this, and will then set this in motion. Three, two, one, go. Oh. There it goes. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did differently <laughs> that time. 
But there we go. We have a working flying machine. So now, here's the problem with this. This will only go one direction. And when you stop it, as should happen here if I aimed my obsidian correctly, which I did. Okay. So then the problem is, it will not restart. It'll do this little thing again. Oh! Oh, wait! Apparently I missed that in playing around with it. Now, of course, it's going to fly on forever. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, that being that, now that I have figured out and made this work um, with a rough working knowledge, we're going to look at some other flying machines that are commonly accepted in how to do this. So, this seems so simple after you actually look at, like, another um, image of it. Um, yeah, but so this is a nice little simple two-way flying machine. If we power that, it goes off this way and Stitch falls to the ground. And then if we power that, or if we um, trigger that observer, then it goes like that. So there you go, a two-way flying machine, and then you can pull these out to the sides, and you can use them for all of that. And it makes perfect sense. So here, let's actually build one of these here. Um, we'll build it off of here. So, um, you have a sticky piston with a slime block, and then if we come up here, place an observer there, helps to place the observer um, with no block underneath. And then you build that exact same thing on the opposite side. Um, so an observer looking up with a slime block there. Very, very simple. Whoops. <laughs> and there it goes. And I probably broke it because of where I built it. But yeah, simple, simple to build, simple to use. So then I've seen things where they have little setups where you can go back and forth. And I think that all we need for that is, um, let's see here, which would we need to power? We would need to power this one. So we would need an observer here, um, which then we could wrap around like this, and then put a, um, if I could spell, I still have my texture pack on. <laughs> if we put an iron trap door there, I should have built one of these on the other side, but should now happen is it should run this little clock, or not, hmm, so apparently I was overcomplicating things, all you need is an observer into a block with some redstone and a repeater, and you and your bird... Um, and you need a little bit of delay on the repeater, um, so that it doesn't create a, uh, thing that kind of goes back and forth really quickly. But if we flip this on, it'll send this off, and then when it gets over there, it will power that and get sent back. Ooh, somebody has sticky keys turned on. But yeah, so there we have it. Fairly simple. Makes sense. After, you know, lots of trial and error, I hope that it makes sense here. Um, I have no idea how long this um, episode is, because, yeah, I think we've recorded, like, an hour and a half at least of footage <laughs> that I'm going to have to cut down into something reasonable. Um, I was going to do vertical flying machines. Um, I think we're going to leave it here for this week. So, yeah. So, hopefully this stuff made sense. Um, it took far too long to figure out for something that is supposedly simple, but it's kind of nice to at least understand the mechanics of what's going on. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.